Hello again, and welcome back to the proper way to dress or fillet a fish. Today we have a species known as the triggerfish. Triggerfish is a coral reef uh, feeding fish. It's got these crazy teeth that dig on these crustaceans down below and coral and sea anemones and whatnot. They normally come non-gutted because when you gut them you get into all these crazy barbs and stuff that they've been eating into in their belly. Triggerfish has a big old head on them. <clears throat> you have a lot of loss when you get a triggerfish. You get little to no yield. <clears throat> but they are my favorite fish from Florida. It's called a triggerfish. <clears throat> it's known for this trigger right up here that they bury themselves on the coral reef. Uh, their skin's very tough. It doesn't have scales. Uh, you can take a knife and damn near ruin a knife if you don't know how to fillet one of these fish. <clears throat> But I'm going to show you the proper technique on how to fillet a trigger fish. Here we go. As usual, as I've shown you before, we always start with the zipper cut. Start at the anus with just the tip. Ease that right on in. You're going to come up right up its backside. Like I said, the skin is so tough, it's like sandpaper. You get, there's no scales on it. It's like almost like a reptile, almost like a crocodile. Once you get up to that tail, drive that knife through, bury it through, and bring it on up. We're going to continue that zipper cut all the way up its backbone. Again, without knowing the proper technique, you can ruin a perfectly good knife, <clears throat> which is never your intention when you're trying to fillet a fish. Once you've done that right there, you want to stop, and you're going to move to the other side. Again, start at the anus with just the tip, and ease it right on in. Continue on up to the tail. Drive that blade through, bring it on out. <clears throat> Continue up the backbone. Now right here, we are going to start filleting the fish. Normally what I do is I bring back this gill and I come through the gill plate on, on most fish, drive through and slice down. With this armored skin, it's very tough to do that. So what we'll do is we'll take another blade not our fillet blade, we'll take a boning blade. We're going to go blade side towards the eye. We're going to come up and over the shoulder towards the anus. Turn that blade up and pull up and out. And that is the beginning of a perfect fillet on a trigger fish. We're going to flip to the other side and do the same thing. Again, right where you ended your zipper cut, with your fillet knife, you're going to come up over that bone, turn your blade up, and pull right out of that trigger. That is the way to get through all that tough, and now you're back to nothing but flesh. Here we go. Coming down, finding that backbone. Coming up, finding that backbone. Coming down, up and over the backbone. Out that backside. Out that backside. That fillet right there is done. I've told you before, leave your fillet on one side before you completely take it off because you want that body on the other side so that you get just as beautiful a fillet as you did on the first side. Here we come. Coming down, finding that backbone. You don't always have to find it in the first cut. A lot of these guys like to find it in the first cut. Just find it gently with the tip of the knife. Up and over the backbone. Down that backside. Once you're here, there's no pin bones to cut on a trigger fish. You can, because the skin is so tough, you can just grab that fillet and pull back and you're done. That's a beautiful fillet. Flip it, do the same thing. Pull it back right where you had it. And pull it off. It's two beautiful fillets. See how much, see how much meat you lose with a trigger fish? <clears throat> have this big old head and all this weight and then all this meat down here. Not much meat you get off it, but this is what known as called the pork chop of the Florida Seas. Mm -hmm. 
just going to dress it up a little bit before we finish. This up here is a bloodline. <clears throat> you want to remove that. You can take the front side of your knife, just right over the top of it. Just makes it a little prettier. Nothing wrong with that meat, just doesn't look very nice. The same thing on his belly. See that bloodline? Just wipe it off. Pretty good. Boom. Look at that. Pork chop. Mm. Let's do the next one. Wipe that top bloodline off. showed you in my first video I like to do all my work prior to eating <clears throat> so that beautiful fillet is done we keep it on the skin because it's perfect for grilling no tin foil necessary just throw that thing directly on the grill it'll grill itself but I like to remove these pin bones one two three four five six seven seven pin bones <clears throat> big boys and I'll always find the bottom side them up and ride them underneath. There, it's nice. Find the top side, ride them down. We yank those bad boys out. That right there is a boneless trigger fish fillet. side, riding down, finding the skin, and again coming on the bottom side, finding the bottom of those bones and riding them along that skin, that bubble blade, pull those things out every time, bam, and that is a beautiful filet ready for the grill and your favorite seasonings.